Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit today about physical simulation of things. Um, and this is an interesting topic because as we're moving into um, sort of digital form finding, we can use this to simulate sort of material properties or physical forces applied to our digital geometry. So I'm going to show a couple examples on how we can set up files for that. Um, in a way that uh, we can use it to represent sort of physical things happening in, in our world. So first thing I'm going to do is actually um, bring in a couple of points I can use as geometry. And uh, to do this physics simulation, we basically have two, two different scenarios. We have Kangaroo, which is a plug-in by Daniel Piper and Kangaroo 2, the sort of second version of that. And they work similar, but there are some differences. I'm going to show both. I use them interchangeably depending on uh, what scenario it is. I think sometimes Kangaroo uh, 1 visualizes things a little better. Uh, sometimes Kangaroo, simplifi Kangaroo 2 simplifies things. So I kind of use them interchangeably. I'm going to do a quick example um, to show how we maybe could make uh, a bunch of uh, circles collide as if they were um, objects. Um, so to do that, I'm going to first populate in 2D, and I'm looking at it from the side in, in the X, Z planes. I'm going to draw a rectangle in that plane. So I get several points, 100 points, and I'm going to give them um, and give them radius for a circle. So I'm going to take these, let's say 0.5. Let's give them an X, Z plane. have a bunch of spheres. Now, um, if we look at kangaroo 1, there's a bunch of forces that, that they have available. And so one of, the, one of the standard ones they have is, say, a sphere collide. So that's already usable. We can program in our center points and the radius. Let's use the same radius. Now this will treat each one of these as kind of a rigid body so that if it bumps into the next one, it'll, it'll sort of push against it. Now, um, to make anything move, we need to apply some force to it. So we're going to apply to each one of these just a downward motion. We're going to take a unary force, each one of these points, going to apply some downward motion. So then we have our rigid circles, we have our downward motion. Um, we also need to uh, set up some sort of ground plane so it hits the, hits the floor. Um, to do this, we're actually going to use some kangaroo settings. So ask us if we want to switch on a floor plane, which we do. Switch that on. And while we're here, we can adjust adjust some of our tolerances. So we don't want to have any any sort of extra friction added. Sort of settling. Can be reduced. Tumbling can be reduced. Maybe we'll turn up our tolerances. We'll add another notice here. So these are, you don't always have to change these settings, but these, for this simulation, allows it to um, run a little smoother. So the main, 
the main thing that does this physics calculation is the kangaroo physics solver. So then on this you can feed in all the forces, any anchors that you might need, settings, geometry, and then just tell it to run or not. So we're going to feed in all of our force objects, which will be these two. We're going to put our settings in. We don't have any anchor points. We want all of those to move. Um, our get a boolean toggle if it's on or off. So it'll take it'll take all these, run it through its simulation, and then it'll feed out some particles that we'll use for our spheres. And turn off all these other things that are happening. And the only other thing that we need for this is to iterate through that. So we're going to set up a timer. That timer just makes this recalculate. You plug it into that. Makes it recalculate in some interval. So as these things are moving, it will constantly sort of ask it to add a little more time, a little more time, a little more time. Um, so you can see that motion over a period of time. So you can see that these things are moving already. And that we have some sort of ground plane that they're banging off of. Use a button instead of this to reset the simulation. As you can see they're banging against each other and they're banging against the ground. Now if we wanted to, we can come in here and change our settings so we find something that's super fluid and fast. But that seems to work work okay. We can also change the interval in which it updates. Let me set it to one. So that's um, basically kangaroo one. Um, oftentimes it can be somewhat unstable. Um, but you could do a lot of things with it. So um, in the next in the next video, we'll show a couple of variations of physics simulation using uh, Kangaroo Two. It has a lot more capabilities, and so we'll um, we'll see what sort of variations of uh, physics simulations we can use.